Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Had a member question. If she wants to do multiple images of this file to HTV it onto a shirt, but she, like I said, she needs multiple sizes, how does she do that? I will show you. Okay, first of all, you want to make sure that your colors are broken up in your SVG. I know that this is one uh, solid outline. It's just all one file. Okay, so here's one color and here's another color. Well, if I click on it, here's my size right here. And I know that that's what I want in an adult size. So make sure it's on your mat. Come up here. Save it as whatever the title is. Go to your downloads. Download it. Oops, that's right. I forgot. We got it. Delete this. And we didn't change the size. So now let's try it. Anything that is left off of your mat will not let you uh, save it onto your stick. Okay, so now we're going to go here. And it'll bring up my stick, and it's already on there. Okay. Because I've helped her with this file. All right, so now let's move this doohickey over here. We're going to come back, grab that file again. I need to leave this on here, because when I measure, I need to make sure that it's the same size. Okay, so we always want that left on here. And I didn't make any changes, so it should be identical. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Go ahead and delete this blue. Oops, make sure it pulls away. Okay, so now I'm going to change this to red. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this. Find our stick. Should be already up here. And we'll change that. Oh, nope. We'll leave that right there. Red. Okay. So now that one size is done. I know I have one at 10 inches. Now remember, you can do this on the machine. Um, and you'll just be deleting it from the internal file. But sometimes it's easier in the program because then you have all of the tools you need. Oops, I forget, I always forget there's a white background. Okay, so now I have a little, let's say I have a little three-year-old. Well, you can either go at it by doing this, or what I recommend is to do it this way. Come in here and find the percents. You're going to decrease it 20%. To 80% of its original size and let's see that gives us with an 8 inch image which is pretty cool okay oops I forgot I always forget to ungroup stuff okay so now let me pull it apart I'm going to delete this red and small blue and then I'm going to save the small blue. And then we're going to pull it back in and see if we can't resize that red. Okay. So this is how you keep going about doing it. Um, in Shortcuts a lot, of course, we have the pages. So we get to do it um, really easily because we can have all of our pages laid out in front of us. So we don't ever have to guess. Okay. Let me shut my mouth and keep moving. Let's drag this to the side because this is the one we just saved. Let's pull in our SVG again. All right, so we need to pull all this apart. I need to remember that the white is back there. And I know that I decreased my blue to 80%. So let me increase my red, or decrease, I'm sorry, decrease my red by or to 80%. And technically, they should still fit together perfectly. I should not have to make any changes to the file. Here we go. Let me get it where it needs to be. Okay. But you see, it actually did misshape that file. So you can come 
and you can start to fix it. I don't like when you click on that, how they grow. See that, how they plump up? All right, so that little bit of tweaking did fix it. However, this program should know when I have, you know, when you tell it decrease to 20, it should kind of be equal all the way across. Shouldn't have to do any tweaking. But because you saved this original piece that you have already downloaded right here, you can ensure that this one will fit by importing the file, deleting all the other colors that you don't need, and then going after what you need, which in this case is the red, decreasing it to the percent. Okay, so that was 80%. I clicked OK. And then if it comes in a little bit out of size, like it did, you can go ahead and resize it in here to fit what you need. Okay, so now to save this, I'm going to pull this out of the way, and I'm going to delete it. All right, so now we have a small red. Okay, oops, why did I hit enter? Got to hit download. And wait. Oh, there we go. I hate waiting. Okay, so let's hit save. All right, now we're going to exit out of that, and we're going to import the files to see how close they are. Choose a file, and we're going to grab one from my stick. Let's see. Let's go grab the small blue, and then we'll go grab the small red. Did you see all my embroidery files on there? <laughs> yes, you can save your embroidery files with your cut files. So let's see. So this technically should be even. And there you go. It's all even. When you do it on the scan and cut, sometimes it's easier, sometimes it isn't. All right, guys, if you have any further questions on this, um, just get a hold of me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Um, I'm not able to visit YouTube <laughs> very often. Um, I don't think I've been there to take questions in over a month. So if you post a question, I'm not going to get to it over there. Um, my focus is on the group, so... Um, I appreciate your understanding. Thanks, guys.